Uh, Stock theorem is the last important theorem uh, for line integral and surface integral. Uh, it states that the line integral on this, uh, the closed line, uh, the line integral of on a closed uh, curve in the space can be evaluated by a uh, surface integral. Uh, first, we need the uh, 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 definition of orientation of boundaries uh, of, of boundary curve. Uh, the positive orientation. If this is a uh, surface with orientation n that is upward, then it's bound in the orientation, the positive orientation of, of its boundary curve should be the counterclockwise. The orientation is that when when you uh, walk along the boundary curve, the interior of the surface should on your left when your head is upward. Uh, as you walk along, you face your face your direction. The front direction. Then the interior of the surface should be on, uh, on your left. That's the po positive orientation. The orientation of n should be the same as your head. Your head point point to the uh, positive orientation of the surface. That's the positive or orientation. Uh, if the surface has orientation like downward, then the boundary the positive orientation of boundary should be the clockwise because if we work along like this then on your left the interior is on your left so the orientation is like the positive orientation is clockwise let's depend the orientation of boundary curve depends on the orientation of the uh, of the surface. This is called induced induced orientation. Uh, after we have this uh, definition, we can state the theorem, the Stokes theorem. This theorem states that uh, there, there, there's three conditions. So the first condition that is the surface S is a, a piecewise piecewise smooth uh, curve, not a smooth surface. Uh, with orientation. And the second that is boundary condition uh, boundary curve L consists of piecewise uh, smooth curve piecewise smooth curve. And uh, the vector field F is smooth on S and L. The smooth that is the all component of F is ha has continuous first derivative. F as continuous for 
inverse derivative. Uh, that is the smooth, the most smooth vector field. Then we have the conclusion that is, if we integrate on L, f dot dr equals the integration on s for curl f for curl f dot n ds. The proof is directly, but we need to use the Green's theorem. Uh, suppose, okay, that's the surface uh, without gener uh, general reality. Without generality. Suppose uh, S can be represented by Z, Z equals F, X, or Y and uh, oriented upward. And its projection is D on X, Y plane is D and the uh, boundary condition for D the boundary here, the boundary for the S is L, for D is L, L star. And uh, now we have N D S, that is negative f x negative f y and one dx d y curve f curve f that is partial r partial y minus partial q partial c I plus partial uh, P partial Y minus partial R partial X plus J uh, plus partial uh, Q partial X minus partial P partial Y that's K so the curve on S in DS is the integration on D that is partial R partial Y minus partial Q partial Z uh, times negative FX plus partial P partial Y minus partial R partial x times negative f y plus partial q partial x minus partial p partial y times z uh, times the one then d a that's the curve and for uh, for uh, the integration and the L for the L can be represented by R equals X Y and F X Y so DR DR equals um, DX DY and uh, f x d x f y plus f y d y that's total differential that's total differential so the integration on l uh, that 
that is uh, here x and y belongs to d. So on L, oh, uh, x and y on L star uh, belongs to L star. So L uh, f dot dr that is on L star for because that's only uh, depends on x and y. So that is uh, f uh, dot r dot dr dot dx dy and uh, f x dx plus f y dy. So that equals integration. Um, that is p x y z d x plus q x y z d y plus r x y z times f x d x plus f y d y. That is equals L star. That is P X Y Z plus R X Y Z and times F X as D X plus Q X Y Z uh, plus R X Y Z F Y then D Y because it's on L star, it's plain curve, so we use Green's theorem. I use Green's theorem here. That is on D, partial, partial X, uh, Q, X, Y, Z, plus R, X, Y, Z. F y minus partial partial y that is p x y z uh, plus r x y z f x mm. that's d a and uh, expand the bracket that's on D for the first part is partial Q partial X plus partial Q partial Z then partial Z partial X I use chain rule because uh, the Q, uh, does, uh, Q uh, does not uh, not only depends on X but also depends on Z uh, plus partial r partial x times f y plus partial r partial z times partial z partial x times f y and plus r times f y x Then minus the second part, partial P partial Y plus partial P partial Z times partial Z partial Y and plus partial R partial Y uh, F X plus partial R partial Z times partial Z partial partial y times f x and plus r times f x y d a now uh, we have partial z partial x that is f x and partial z partial y that is f y 
so we got so we can cancel some uh, some, some uh, terms f y x should equals f x y so these two cancelled and that's f x that's f x this is f y this is f y so these two cancelled and then we left uh, that is partial q partial x minus partial p partial y uh, plus uh, as partial z partial x that's fx so that is partial q partial z minus partial r partial y that is fx and fy that's partial r partial x minus partial p partial z then f y d a we change the f x and f y to be negative that is uh, partial r partial y minus partial q partial z times negative f x plus uh, partial p partial c minus partial r partial x times negative f y plus partial q partial x minus partial p partial y then d a and this exactly the curve is exactly the curve is exactly this part exactly the part so that's equals the integration on d curve f dot n ds so we proved this one uh, for general uh, surface. Uh, if it correspond to two two cur curves, uh, two two surface. If it's a two surface. We can integration. Uh, we can int integration. Uh, we can uh, in integration both parts because for S one the for S one as direction is here. For S for S two uh, for S one the boundary for S one is is this direction. For S two. For S2, its direction is here. So under on the uh, boundary uh, on the line, they intersect has uh, one fourth and one back. So we can cancel that for L on L. The integration cancelled. Integrations cancelled. So we can uh, evaluate both parts separately and then add together. That's the proof. So we complete the proof. Now we use the Stokes theorem to evaluate line integral. Let's uh, see some examples. The first one is evaluate the line integral f dot dr, where f 
so e equals negative y cube i plus s x cube j minus z cube k and uh, l is a curve of intersections of intersection of the cylinder uh, the, the, the cylinder x square plus y square equals 1 and uh, plane 2x plus 2y plus c equals 3 and oriented 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 so uh, as to have a counterclockwise always projection Clockwise projection on X Y plane. So the graph of this uh, curve is like this. Uh, It's a it, it's a cylinder, and uh, uh, like the cylinder cut by the uh, cut by the plane. So uh, it's like this. It's like this, and uh, on the plane. Its projection as has counterclockwise counterclockwise uh, orientation. So for the for the curve, it shoots like this. And we can choose uh, we can choose the plane as the surface and use a Stokes theorem and choose S. S that is uh, 2x plus 2y plus z equals 3. Uh, the NDS that is 2, 2, 1, dx, dy, or dA. So the line integral on L, F dot dr that is uh, on S curve F dot N DS and the curve F that is I J K as negative Y cube X cube and negative Z cube Oh, sorry. Here, partial, partial x, partial, partial y, partial, partial z, uh, negative y cube, ne uh, x cube, negative z cube. For the i, For i, that is partial z cube, partial y, negative partial z, partial q, uh, and uh, minus, minus partial x cube, partial z, that is 0, i, and for j, um, partial z cube, partial x, minus partial y cube, partial z, that is still 0. And for k, that is partial x cube, partial x, that is 3x square, 
and minus negative partial y is cube partial y is uh, 3 y square and k so the integration on s curve f dot ds as integration on d uh, 0, 0, 3x square plus y square and uh, dot 2, 2, 1 because it's on dx and dy and its projection its projection on d the d is the projection of the uh, surface so it's x uh, uh, its formula that is x square plus y square less or equal to 1 as for d then we can use its uh, circular area so uh, we can use the polar coordinates that 0 to 2 pi and 0 to 1 okay first we got the uh, we have the dot product as d as 3x square plus y square dx dy and you look, use polar coordinates that is 3 from 0 to 2 pi from 0 to 1 that's rho square x square plus y square that's rho square dx dy that is rho d rho then d theta that's from 0 to 2 pi 3 1 over 4 rho of 4 0 to 1 and d theta that's 1 fourth so that is 3 over 4 times theta from 0 to 2 pi that is 3 over 2 pi that's the first example uh, we use the surface integral to evaluate line integral and the second example that is we use line integral to evaluate each surface integral Uh, evaluate um, the curve, the integral on surface curve f dot n ds using stock theorem. sphere x square plus y square plus c square equals 4 that uh, lies inside lies inside in the cylinder x square plus y square equals 1 and above the xy plane oriented upward uh, first we draw the graph
is the cylinder x square plus y square equals 1 and the, the, the sphere has radius has radius 2 so it's actually like this and the other part for the sphere is like this Uh, in the in the cylinder, so it's this part. It's only this part, and its uh, boundary curve is here. The intersection, its boundary curve is intersection uh, of the sphere and the uh, cylinder. Solution and the boundary curve. That is x square plus y square plus z square equals 4, and x square plus y square equals 1. So the intersection that is L, that is x square plus y square equals 1, and z equals square root 3. Because we insert the second, second equation into the first equation, we have z square equals 3 and above the xy plane, so that is z equals square root 3. And we'd better to use a, param a parametration for L, that is because that's x square plus y square equals 1, so we can use the polar coordinates or cylinder coordinates, that x equals cosine t, y equals sine t, and z equal to uh, square root 3 and t because it's a circle t is 0 to 2 pi so by the Stokes theorem the integration of s curve f dot n d s that is the line integral on l f dot dr we don't need to uh, calculate the curve of f and for uh, uh, the line integral on l that is from 0 to 2 pi f is y z uh, x z and uh, x y dot dr dr is negative sine t uh, cosine t and zero then dt and use the uh, parametric equation for x y z so that's zero to two pi y is uh, sine t so y z is square root three sine t x z is square root three cosine t x y as cosine t sine t and dot negative sine t cosine t zero and dt that is from zero to two pi negative three sine t square plus nine uh, plus square root three cosine t square then dt. We know that cosine t square minus sine t square that is cosine 2t so that is square root 3 times 0 to 2 pi cosine 2t dt. We know that cosine 2t that is cosine t square minus sine t square so that is square root 3 over 2 sine 2t from 0 to 2 pi. Insert the upper limit and the lower limit to the function we have 0. That's the Stokes theorem. Stokes theorem um, 
is used for space a space curve, space closed curve. And green theorem is uh, used for plane curve, planar curve. But they are all all of, of them are uh, has this meaning that uh, that is uh, integration on the boundary equals uh, some type of this derivative on on the interior. That's the Stokes theorem, and uh, we know that for divergence theorem, uh, some uh, the uh, integration on the boundary of solid region equals the triple integral uh, in on its on its interior for some types of the de de derivative of f. So actually, the Green theorem, uh, divergence theorem, and Stokes theorem. Uh, have maybe in mathematics uh, has the, have the same meaning. We can state this maybe later. Use the exterior di uh, differential. There are all the uh, special case of general Stokes theorem. All these three theorem are uh, all space spatial spatial uh, cases of general Stokes theorem.